is the founder and chairman of Top Rank, Mr. Bob Arum. So at this time, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce Bob for his opening statement. Well, it looks like we're back, you know. This is a momentous uh, occasion. Uh, boxing is back after a three-month uh, lapse. I'm really proud that uh, Top Rank is the first promoter out of the box. We have a great fight on, great show on the 9th of June. Uh, then we continue on virtually two and three uh, boxing events a week. Uh, uh, boxing is going to come back, believe me, bigger and more important than ever. And in this two-month period, in June or July, uh, where it uh, looks like there won't be any NBA, uh, any uh, Major League Baseball, uh, the spotlight will be on the sport of boxing. And with the bouts that we've lined up, uh, I believe that the public will once again be enthused about the competitive level in the sport. Uh, so, uh, Certainly at this time, if you would, please press star then one if you would like to ask your question today. Again, that is star and one to ask your question today. And we'll take our first question from Dan Raphael with Boxing Scene. Please go ahead. Yes. Hey, Bob. Welcome back. Um, can you just briefly sort of uh, explain the, 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 the thought process about how you went about bringing these fights back? And, and, and I sort of get it like, that these, these initial bouts are not for titles if you have world champions, but can you just explain sort of the, the thought behind that? Yeah, I mean, this is not an easy job. It sure. seems like it's easy, but my people, Brad Jacobs and Todd DeBuff, really been working for months on this getting the protocols in shape, the testing, working with the Nevada Commission and its medical staff. I mean, this is something that nobody, uh, at least on our end, had any experience with. Uh, so it's really been a work in progress, and it continues to be a work in progress. Imagine guys come into Vegas. Uh, to get into the bubble, which is uh, uh, a special floor at the MGM, they got to be tested. They're in the bubble. They got to be escorted uh, to a place to shake out and train, to a place to eat. We have a special dining room set up in the convention center. Uh, all of this is something that none of us is is useful is used to now we didn't we're not starting out with title fights uh but we're going to uh, before long maybe by the third not maybe by the third week uh start doing some title fight world title fight because there are other issues with the organizations which we're working out so it's one step at a time uh it's not easy I mean, and it's not inexpensive. For example, testing, just the testing for coronavirus for each event will cost us in excess of $25,000. Just the testing, plus the rooms, uh, the special security, the meals and the dining in the convention area. This is a very, very large undertaking, but obviously it has to be done. We've got to get boxing started up. We're going to probably be doing this uh, perhaps for three months, uh, for June and July definitely, and then uh, uh, in August, and hopefully uh, by September we're going to start getting back uh, to doing events with spectators with a, a limited capacity. Uh, that's our second phase that we're working on. And the third phase, uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be doing events with virtually full capacity. 
but that's down the line. So, I mean, this is really big responsibility on our part uh, to start this off, start it off in the right foot. Uh, as I said, our protocols, which we've been working on for months, are available to all promoters all over the world. There's no competition here. We want to get everybody to do the right things uh, necessary to get um, started in boxing as big as possible. Uh, thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Thank you. And we'll take our next question from Jeremy Herringeff with FanSided.com. Please go ahead. Um, Bob, uh, you've been very transparent and very open with how you see things going in the future. Um, looking at the UFC, what are the one or two biggest missteps you saw in the way they handled the opening of their sport and live, uh, live combat sports? And what have you done, uh, would you say, maybe the one or two things that you've done differently than them? Well, we didn't feel the protocols that the UFC had when they opened uh, up in Florida were adequate. And uh, uh, But again, you have to understand that they were the first out of the box. And so the fact that they made mistakes, uh, you know, that's understandable. Uh, they now are uh, have done an event in uh, uh, Nevada, and uh, they're under the same type of protocols that we are. And uh, I think it's all good because the Nevada Commission uh, has uh, – uh, cleared everything, whether it's UFC event or a top rank event, and uh, their interest in the safety of the participants uh, is the same for us and now for UFC. So I have to commend uh, the state of Nevada, the governor, and the athletic commission in the type of effort and work that they've done. Uh, to enable us to do these events on a basis of as much safety as humanly possible. Thank you, gentlemen, and best of luck. And we'll go next to Carol Van with FightV360.com. Please go ahead. The question I have is, can you go a bit into, will there be anything – you know, different for media in regards to anything virtual, virtual um, media days or any way we as media from home will be able to talk, you know, to the boxers before or maybe after the event? Uh, first show, no. First two shows, no. First two shows, we have our hands full getting this off the ground. Uh, uh, maybe uh, we can arrange for conference calls after the fight. Uh, but, you know, even the uh, television crew from ESPN will be uh, broadcasting this from a remote location. Uh, it, we will not have media at the event uh, because uh, of the whole testing, and we want to make sure that everybody is safe uh, with these first two events, we have our hands full. We haven't done it before. We want to make sure that everything goes smoothly uh, because there's a whole bunch of, you know, there's 30 ESPN has at least 30 people in their camera crew. Uh, the commission has another 20 or 30 people with the referees and inspectors. And so we eliminated media in the bubble, in the, the arena, for the first two shows. And what we hope to do, once we see how well these events have gone, is to now uh, open it up to a limited number of media at first for the second week, and then expand as we go along. We'll be doing these fights in this bubble with no spectators at least through the end of July, probably longer, 
but in this place, at least through the end of July. So as we become more and more familiar with the policies that we have to have, uh, then we'll start uh, allowing media into the event where they can ask questions. And just to follow up on what Bob said, uh, we, we, we will be having a virtual post-fight press conference. Uh, so media will receive more information about that early next week, and we'll go from there. We'll take our next question from James Bell with the Boxing Source. Please go ahead. Um, seeing that, that you were kind of like the first one to have through top rank at ESPN, like what is your mindset going through these first couple of months being the first major sport or having the first major sport out here uh, in the U.S.? You know, it, we know the responsibility on our shoulders to make sure this thing goes well, that these uh, fights are held, that they're interesting, entertaining, but even more important, that they're safe, that the, the, that the fighters are safe, that the people uh, – in the arena, the commission people, uh, the uh, television people, that everybody is safe. That is our primary focus now. And once we get through a number of these and we know where we're going and we know what's working and what's not working, then we'll begin to expand it so it looks more like what we had before this coronavirus plague. That's the best I can do. I can't just wave a wand and make everything perfect because I don't know how to do it. Nobody knows how to do it. But we've been, the Nevada Commission has been tremendous. They've worked very closely with us. It's been no nonsense with the doctors and everything, with the coronavirus Czar in Nevada, Jim Mirren has been terrific. So he got us the testing. So again, we felt our way. We've worked through it. We're here now. We're confident that it's going to work. Do we know for sure? Absolutely not. But I believe that everything is going to go smoothly and that going into uh, the end of June, July, we're going to get some really big fights uh, that uh, we're going to uh, be showing the public.